come for having number two. Um, so here's the finished product, semi-finished. I'm going to color this dragon green. And hopefully I'm not going to screw this up. So we're going to do the inner ear orange if these markers actually still work. Fantastic. I'm going to color the eyes and the tongue red. Again, if these markers still work. Uh, the hilt of the sword, black. So that it covers up my big ass mistake that I made. Okay, the one marker I need to work does not work. Well, then I guess the hilt of the sword's gonna be brown. Hell, this shit is. I'm actually at that debating part of quit while you're ahead and leave the dragon white. That seems like the logical thing to do. Mostly I'm scared the ink's gonna dry before I can um get everything done. I'm gonna start this damn thing green and it doesn't work out. I'm gonna be really pissed off. But I do have crayons to fix whatever goes wrong with this marker. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna officially try this. First, any part of a uh, picture that you're drawing, if it has like eyes, you want to go around the eyes first. Any sensitive parts, like this horn, so that you like um, cover the stuff that does that way it doesn't like um, doesn't turn into a mistake that you can't fix. So basically, outlining. sensitive spots just in case the ink runs because you know when you're dealing with paint paint probably doesn't run as much as like the ink ink runs I don't give a damn how good you are ink runs And when the horn is protruding like off, literally off the dragon, you gotta be real careful at where you um, place your pencil, or your ink pen, or your um, thing because you don't want it to um, ruin the drawing. Now the underbelly is probably going to be yellow. I 
don't know if my yellow fit is going to last. And like the, the small crevices and stuff, now those small parts, you need to cover those first. Especially if you don't have a steady hand. I no longer have a steady hand. I lost a lot of, I lost a lot of skills when I stopped doing martial arts. My, my um, hand balance isn't what it used to be. It's not old age, it's just that um, when I did martial arts most of the time, everything kind of fell into place. And now that I'm just restarting after four years, or three and a half years, doctor's orders, now everything's not um, like it was. Like at all. Like literally, I've made more mistakes in the last three years with martial arts and anything in general than I have before. It's like my hands don't like operate like they used to. Not making excuses, I'm just telling the truth. You know, sometimes you gain skills, sometimes you lose skills. And my inability to do martial arts I have lost a lot of confidence in myself, and I kind of noticed it today. But you know, other people haven't noticed it, but when it's you, you can feel it. You know, when it's someone else, they can't really feel or see what you're going through on the inside, but you can feel it. You know, you literally. different ball game versus when it's not you. You know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to stay in lines now. Which you will see because I fracked up on this thing. Which goes back to try to get all your small crevices first before you go before you go full on committing to this kind of thing. That's why I did the head first and the wings. Also afraid that the the ink will probably run out. I hope we have covered up the mistakes. someone's calling me. Well, anyway, here's a start. Peace in me.